Now, families who have a child who, on the autism spectrum might be feeling especially isolated being kept away from school and resources that they've been relying on. But now there is a helping hand available from one of the Valley's most prominent autism organizations. So let's check in with Gina mm -hmm. this morning, who has details about this and what, what a useful program and, I mean, a, a necessary lifeline right now. No doubt about it. And, you know, perhaps not a big surprise from the organization called SARC, Southwest Autism Research and Resource Center, again, also known as SARC. Uh, they are one of the foremost organizations really in the country when it comes to uh, research and treating uh, and, and working with uh, people who are on the autism spectrum. So they are offering telemedicine visits to families with individuals who have autism. Now, SARC has a school for children with autism, but they know that many families who might receive their services from their home school districts might be looking for extra help right now. So you can call SARC. They will come alongside you via video conference and walk you through different strategies, routines, and activities. During these times where families are feeling very isolated and when you have a child that has an extra need, you can feel even more isolated, that we really step up and provide those level of supports during these times. Uh, we don't want our families to feel isolated. We want our teens, adults, kids to feel really successful. And we have some of those tools to be able to help. So this is the time we need to offer that. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're also offering some great advice. If you've got a child uh, on the autism spectrum at home, Sark has some tips actually that can apply uh, to all of us. Number one, set goals. Include your child in setting those goals. Also, stay social. So important. Figure out how you can do that. Maybe it's FaceTime. Maybe it's a driveway visit. Also, moms and dads, be flexible. Your kids are going through a lot, too, right now. If they're not up for a certain activity, be willing to pivot. And then lastly, remain realistic. And mom and dad, give yourself a break. Many of us are not teachers or therapists. It's okay if things don't go exactly as planned. Also, they say if there's a little bit more screen time, that's okay. Again, we're all just trying to make do in this unusual, unprecedented time. Yeah, give yourself a